To begin with, we're going to set high slide mode to slideshow and then advance to the next control group, which is labeled in yellow, high slide mode, slideshow. We have a lot of options here for customizing the appearance and behavior of our slideshow, which you can see when you bring up any large image. Um, and I'm gonna start running through these controls in no particular order. So when we look at the slideshow, one of the first things that we see are the controls. Uh, we have several options for the layout of controls in your slideshow, and we can select them down here using the slideshow controls type uh, drop box. So the default is icons relative to image, which puts these icons on the image when you hover over it. And you see when they hover off, or when you hover off, they disappear. Um, another option would be icons relative to viewport. And what this one does is place the icons in the upper right hand corner where they should be out of the way in most instances. You can also set up text controls, which give you a, a line of text buttons at the bottom of the viewport. And there's an entire separate control group down here uh, dedicated solely to the customization of these text buttons. So we'll be coming back to that in a later video. The final control type is text controls with thumbnails. And this allows you to have text controls with some thumbnail navigation at the bottom of the viewport that allows you to jump to specific images. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that for now. And we're going to start looking at some of these sliders. So the first is for the image border. And this allows us to adjust the thickness of the border surrounding images. So we can crank that all the way up to 25 pixels for very thick borders. Or we can go with smaller borders by cranking it down. Let's see what happens when uh, it gets to zero, because then we have a couple of unique situations regarding our captions. So when we have a border of zero, you can see that the borders have disappeared from the sides, but we still have this area at the top and bottom where the uh, the heading and caption reside. And so we've got a couple of things we can do to get rid of those. Uh, one, we can slide down the control pane to the high slide captions control group, which we're going to be covering completely in a later video. But for now, we can just go ahead and get rid of the heading and caption by disabling those checkboxes. So that when we call that back up again, you can see we have no borders around the image. But if we want to use the heading or caption, that's not going to be a good option for us. So let's head on back to the high slide mode slideshow control group and uh, investigate another option that we have. There's uh, an option here called caption background, which has two choices. Use caption background is default. And when that is selected, the background for your captions will be set according to the image border caption background color picker. So here we have that set to white. What I can also do is set this to transparent, which will make that color go away. Uh, we still have captions and heading text here. We just can't see it because of the color. So we can change the color here using this color picker for the caption text. And I'm going to go ahead and for now make that the same cream color we've been using around our design. So when I bring that up, well, let me reload the page, as sometimes you have to do when changes don't take effect. Now you can see that my heading and caption text are here. The next slider down the list is for rounding the corners. So let's go ahead and put a border back on. We'll go with a 10 pixel border. And uh, as you can see, we have a five pixel rounding on our corners. We can also take that down to zero if we so desire. And that will give us hard edged corners. And you can see that my caption and uh, heading are still floating. So I can go ahead and set caption background back to using a color. Uh, 
Um, the dimming opacity slider affects the opacity level of this black curtain behind our image. So I can take that all the way up to 100 to make that fully opaque. This way, when we look at the slideshow, we cannot see any of the page behind it. Or if we want to go full transparent, we can drag that down to zero. And of course, we can achieve various levels of opacity by setting this slider to values in between. The last slider is for slideshow interval, which controls the amount of time that an image stays on screen when the slideshow is playing automatically. By default, this is set to 3000 milliseconds, which translates to 3 seconds. Uh, we can start adjusting colors. We've already seen how we adjust the caption text color. Let's go ahead and change the border color as well. I'm going to use this shade of green that I've been using in my layout. Give myself some nice green borders. And we can also change the color of that background dimming. And I'm going to use a blue color for that. The thing is, with the blue changed, I want a higher level of opacity because I don't really like having it that translucent. So I'm going to set that to 98%. And now when I look at uh, my slideshow, I just barely can see some stuff happening behind there, but I think that looks really nice. The next option we have is a drop list for outline type. And this is something that a high slide supports. There are several options you can choose for uh, setting a border, an additional border, a graphical border around your large image. So we have rounded white, which gives you a rounded white border with a drop shadow. Uh, rounded black, which gives you a rounded black border with a drop shadow, which I actually kind of like the rounded black for this design. There's also a glossy dark, outer glow, a bevel, and a drop shadow, which can be really very nice uh, depending on your layout, which again just puts a graphical drop shadow around the outside of your image. Um, I think though for this design I'm going to take it back to the rounded black outline. There's a checkbox here for slideshow controls. So I showed you before how you can change control types, but if you really wanted to you can just go ahead and turn those controls off by disabling that checkbox. Now when you bring those up we don't have controls anymore. You can see we still have thumbnails, but we can get rid of those by changing the controls type to one that doesn't have thumbnails. So now when I pop an image, it's just the image. I'm going to turn the slideshow controls back on though, and I'm going to set those back to text controls with thumbnails. Because if we look very closely at the thumbnails, there's actually a border around each one of those and we can increase the size of that border using this slider. So that goes from 0 to 10. And if I bring that up again, you can see now that I have 10 pixel borders around each of those slideshows, and I can also change the color of that border. Now it's white. I think for this design though, I'm going to take that back down to a single pixel, and I'm going to leave those with a black border. The last few controls we have here, one is for an autoplay, so that the slideshow will automatically load up on page load and start playing. And we have an option for looping the slideshow. So when this is turned on and the slideshow is at the last image, using next will cause it to wrap around to the first image again. Whereas if loop slideshow is disabled and we're at the last image, the next button is grayed out, it's inactive. The final option for this video is the close slideshow on dimmer click. So you can see that when we have a slideshow open, we can close it by clicking the image. We can also close it by clicking outside on the dimmer. If we don't want that to happen, we can turn off that action. So now when we click on the dimmer, nothing happens. And to close that slideshow, we have to use either the close button or click on the image.